Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Wednesday, February 24th, 2021. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. If you are hearing this, it is a minor miracle. I think I may have made a huge mistake when I decided to move from Verizon to Comcast. Comcast came out yesterday totally unprepared to hook me up, but entirely prepared to sever my existing Verizon internet cable. So we are trying to upload this via a sketchy cell signal. We'll see if it works. So let's get right into it. Governor Hogan announced $7 million in grants for the Main Street organizations across the state. The Main Street programs are designed to help commerce in traditional downtown locations, and Annapolis, not surprisingly, is one of them. So the Downtown Annapolis Partnership will be regranting $244,000 to local businesses in the Main Street footprint. So some great news for our struggling small businesses. In a press conference yesterday, Governor Hogan announced that the state is planning for a FEMA-supported mass vaccination site in Southern Maryland. It'll be at the Regency Furniture Stadium in Charles County, and it should be open no later than March 11th. Additionally, he signed an executive order requiring face coverings in school settings and for anyone older than five. This includes classrooms, hallways, cafeterias, gyms, and auditoriums. And he also warned Marylanders on vaccine fraud. Apparently, there are a bunch of bad guys offering to sell vaccines. The governor reminded us that there is never a charge for the vaccine. And if you do come across someone selling it, report it to law enforcement. In a bit of a head scratcher, Mayor Buckley has announced that the city will be suing a number of big oil companies for damages they caused to create and perpetuate global warming and the damages to the city, including sea level rise. In a press call yesterday, City Attorney Michael Lyle said that typically these litigations take anywhere from five to eight years to work through the courts, but he feels because Anne Arundel courts are big on speed, it'll happen a lot faster. No dollar amount was pinned to it, but the mayor did say he'd like to be compensated for the work to be done at Hillman Garage and City Dock. Unlike the suit against Big Pharma, the big oil suit is being litigated by a law firm from California on a contingency basis. If you missed it yesterday afternoon, former delegate Herb McMillan has yet another opinion piece for us, asking the government to do its job. As always, he's opinionated. As always, he draws controversy. So you want to make sure you give it a read and see what you think. I might need to make him a regular columnist. And finally, the Annapolis police report that a city resident was robbed of about $30,000 worth of jewelry during a move. Apparently, the victim met two guys at a local 7-Eleven who said they were movers, and the guy was looking to move. Seems like a perfect match, but the movers decided to pocket some jewelry in the meantime. A word of caution, don't do this. How does this, under any circumstance, not smell to high heaven? Okay, that wraps up the news for us today. As always, thank you for listening. And if you are somewhere where you can leave us a rating or a review, please do. And make sure you let your friends, family, and colleagues know all about us. A quick thank you to the sponsors for this daily news brief, Solar Energy Services up in Millersville, and the Christine Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a long and foster company. And absolutely no thank you to Comcast. Hang tight. We have George Young from DCMDVA Weather standing by with your locally forecast weather report. All that gets underway in just one minute after we hear from Rick Peters from Solar Energy Services. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Are you kicking yourself for not installing solar in 2020, missing out on that sweet 26% federal income tax credit? Not to worry, because legislation passed at the very end of 2020 extended the 26% tax credit, which means consumers like you can act now to get that credit and have your new solar system up and running before springtime when solar generation moves into peak season. Plus, in addition to the feds, several state and county incentives help to make the solar investment an even bigger no-brainer. Don't have the cash? We've got you covered with competitive Competitive financing that is more than offset by the energy savings. Bottom line, Uncle Sam wants you to install solar, and so does the state of Maryland. And you're going to love the savings, so what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasting. Contact us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. 
When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DC MDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Wednesday, February 24th. Yesterday brought a nice return of sunshine to the Annapolis region, along with warmer temps up near the 50 degree mark, though some gusty winds did move into the area in the PM hours. And those winds will stay breezy today and tomorrow, but temps will peak around the 55 to 60 degree mark today, with sunny highs tomorrow in the upper 40s to lower 50s for most in the region. Then after a final day of sunshine and 40s on Friday, the expectation now is for the weekend to have some clouds and showers possible both days. But stay tuned for more details on that throughout the rest of the week ahead. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching DC MDVA Weather in the Apple or Google App Stores. And also be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and use our website each day by visiting DC mdvaweather.com so you can always stay weather informed another moving moment from christy neidhart of the christy neidhart team from northrop realty a long and foster company hi i'm christy neidhart my team and i often get asked is now a good time to make a move the answer is absolutely with interest rates the lowest they've been in nearly 50 years and inventory in high demand now is the time to let us earn your trust Whether you're looking to relocate, downsize, or find the home of your dreams, my team and I will guide you through the process and find exactly what you are looking for. Serving people is a passion of mine, and it's what my team does best. That's the Neidhart difference. That's another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. To get in touch, call 410-295-6579 or visit kn-team.com. That's kn-team.com. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, IonAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at IonAnnapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.